Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Um, I have a brief letter uh, I'd like to read this morning, uh, and it goes like this. Dear Governor Branstead, Governor, your veto last week of the earned income tax cut for working families was based on bad information. In your State House news conference on April 25th, you defended your veto by saying, quote, it's actually people that aren't paying any taxes that are getting the credit back. Really, Governor, that simply isn't accurate. The earned income tax credit benefits 240,000 Iowa families who work and pay taxes. Many work two or three jobs, in fact. They work full time, but their families still live in poverty due to low wages and lack of benefits. Let me repeat that point. These families pay taxes. Let's start with the state income tax. 97% of households that would have benefited pay state income taxes. 97% of households that would have benefited from this tax cut pay state income taxes. I didn't actually repeat that in the letter, but I thought that was worth highlighting for all of you. How about sales taxes? 100% of Iowans would have benefited from the tax cut you vetoed pay sales taxes. How, what about property taxes? Most of the Iowans who would have benefited from the tax cut you vetoed pay property taxes. Gas taxes. I'd like to meet any Iowan who is able to hold down a job and not own a car. I could cite other examples. Governor, I hope you will never again claim that the families who would have benefited from the tax cut you vetoed don't pay taxes. They do. And I hope based on this new, more inf accurate information, you will issue a statement that you are open to approving an increase in the earned income tax credit, a tax cut for 240,000 of the hardest working Iowa families in our state.